You know what? We don't need a whole lot of this intro. I'm now all paranoid that I didn't turn everything on again. Although, I know this is on. I know that's on. I, just, I see a red button. Is that a good button? That's a good thing, yeah. Those are R-E-C. Unlike last week? <laughs> yeah, but, did, well, you know, these were what recorded last week. They were okay. I they, listened to it today. And I had to run it through the Adobe podcast AI thing to kind of clean it up. But it worked okay. Aren't they getting sued for their licensing bullshit right now? Who knows? They're, they are. They are. It's awesome. Probably. Sorry, that's my department. I hate them guys. I Just hate like I hate guys. Dell and Apple and everyone else. <laughs> there I said it. Tony's a hater. Damn the man. Equal opportunity hater. I hate everything. I hate everything equally. <clears throat> and with fervent whatever, whatever. Hey, everybody. That was Tony talking over there. Yeah. JK hacking up along. Although, <laughs> although that was earlier. Yes. And, and today we have Brad Dixon as our very special guest in the studio. Uh, I believe he Hello. is. B Rad Dixon. B Rad. <laughs> I just, it's in the background. It's still going. Listen to it. That's an AI generated stoner doom metal track. Oh, really? Yeah, from uh, from <laughs> U- Udio. That's funny. I got to mention Udio just because that's where that came from. How many weeks in a row are we going to mention Udio? Probably no more. Okay. I don't know. It's in holding sh- you to that next week. No, it's in the show notes. And okay. I still want to go there and I want to do a bunch of different, well, just not necessarily stoner for metal. Me, for me, with a small child, and every time you say Udio, all I think of is Yu Gi Oh! Is that a, it's an anime? Is it? Is it just that's the character? Yeah. Well, and the name of the show too. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, who's I'm this, living you. Who's this guy? <laughs> that's Yu Gi Oh. That, that's <laughs> Rotoro. What's the guy's name? The, I don't know. Yeah, but, I I just have to deal with it in the background because I, I do walk I have children. <laughs> I do walk around the house like that once in a while, and Garrett's all like, "That looks like what's his whatever yeah. his name is." I, although, yeah, he doesn't mention it much anymore. Being a high school graduate and all now. You're done with yours, too. How was the party? We ate a lot of food, drank a lot of beer. That's a party. Sam walked around because he's so antisocial and picked up nails and handed me several hands of roofing and or siding nails. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the middle of the party, just walked up and he's like, open your hand and drop shit into it. Because, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's Sam. I almost made it over. Almost. Oh, there you missed out on I some was killer uh, killer empanadas. Ah, uh, shit. It was right. It was part of the flight plan, and then the flight plan got lots and lots of beer. Yeah, and that included going to the amorphic thing <laughs> and, with uh, yeah that M five four five and two and a half stars and what's it? Fake twin is that the other one? And then Resurrectionists was really good. Mm. Yeah, those well, they're all are, good yeah. actually. But for a Sunday at three in the afternoon and getting four bands for free, can't go wrong. That was mm-hmm. yesterday. That was uh, Sunday, this past Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Tuesday. Over already. at Amorphic. Yeah, already. Well, while we record this, when you're listening to this, though, it will be Thursday. Mm-hmm. It's like internet time. So Brad is a, uh, he's kind of a BMX aficionado. <laughs> and we, a killer DJ. Don't rule that out. Well, I haven't seen this DJ action. When are we, gonna, good. When are we getting the DJ going? I don't know if that's ever going to happen again. It do you, should. Do you, like, put a BMX on its side and use the... No. Wheels is turntables, <laughs> wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. No. <laughs> Never happening again. How about the BMX riding? That's happening. Oh, yeah. Definitely tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm off for the rest of the week. So. Oh, nice. nice. Mm. That'll work. Doing inventory at work, so, so you get to chill don't, out. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have to do it. I just so. like to drive. When they're doing inventory, I like to load the truck up with everything and then kind of move it somewhere else, and they're like, <clears throat> wait, did we count that already? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> now it's over here. Count it over here. <laughs> That's called creative accounting. <laughs> B Rad's got to eat. You know, you you do a good thing. I do applaud you for your job. I, yeah, I think helping out right. other people is really important, and I don't really do it at the university. I have done it in the past for other things, but I do really applaud that. I yeah, think you, you help, help people. If you do, if you weren't there, people like Michael would not help. be able to yeah. do his job. You helped. Yeah, he you helps helped the people Polish perfect. far, <laughs> far more in need than I do. I got to fix a fucking printer. He feeds people. You, right had, to, you had to find the printer I, I, for me. I fed some lions today. Nice. Was, was that the Big Cat Rescue? The Wisconsin Big Cat Rescue. Nice. Yeah. I, I have I, some meat. So I checked in with your. Uh, he, I checked in with your Instagram. Is that your main area that you put like pictures and stuff? 
Yeah. Not yeah. so much Facebook, not so yeah. much TikTok well, it, or whatever. It's, it's on both. It's okay. Facebook and Instagram. So you put it on one and it yeah. shows up on the other. I like I, Instagram I, I get a lot. caught up in that and then I forget that it does that and I'm like, whoa, yeah. whoa, yeah. there's a lot of stuff over there. Um, so it's, uh, is it just, it's Brad Dixon 43 at Instagram? Not even sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, sure. Let so me right. see your wrist. Is your wrist labeled 43? Yeah, it is. There it is. No, no, it's B Dixon. B Dixon 43. 43. At Instagram, anyway. Uh, yeah. So, I, yeah, I, I checked into your photos because I, I usually get your reels when you're doing reels. Mm-hmm. and uh, Which are great. I, you know, the the most recent thing I saw that you did that I thought was super cool was this um, uh, Buckeye BMX thing. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us about that a little bit just because it was recent, and then maybe we'll delve, oh, was, delve back into your past with some questions so about awesome. your <laughs> So what was the deal? Is that an annual thing? Or? It is an annual thing. So it, that was the fourth annual one. Okay. Yeah. Is it a show or is it a It's a BMX meet? show and it's a ride out. Oh, so okay. So it's a ride out on Friday night and then Saturday is the show. Nice. Yep. So what the couple, three weeks ago it was, Friday, we get there and we met at a park. This is in Dayton, Ohio. And this is with your uh, your your friend Allison, my friend, Allison. significant other, yes, Allison. So we get there and Better so we half. rode out Better through half. Dayton with two hundred and fifty people. Wow! Yeah, yeah. All BMX. It was amazing. All man. BMX. All BMX bikes with Hollywood Mike Miranda. Whoa! And Eddie Fiola. So, guys, we're tricks. Amaz- amazing. Amazing. There had to be a lot amazing. of tricks, having. Eh, I mean, we're we're riding around so. Yeah, there, were but you were at you, certain points we stopped and we were doing tricks. Yeah, sure. Yep. Well, that sounds. I mean, I was looking at some of the bikes that were in the show part of it, and these things are like pristine from yes, what yes. the mid eighties. Some of those bikes are worth like $5, thousands. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, that Schwinn Predator Freestyle. Yeah, that was good. Pretty God, good. that thing yeah. looked unridden. Mm-hmm. It was so clean. Yep. Yeah, I just I came up a little earlier than the BMX scene in the skateboard side of stuff and just kind of whatever missed out on the major part of it. I mean, I came up, you know, it's stingrays and orange crates and then it's blurry and then cool it's BMX then stuff. it's mountain biking. So yeah, yeah. um I I kind of missed the camaraderie, but I mean, it's obvious that there's still a very avid community of people who did stuff back then that still do it now. Yep, I mean, yep. you know, you've been doing this for 30 plus almost, years? Almost 40. Yeah. Almost 40 years, yeah. yeah. So. Awesome. And that hopefully means, I can do it for a lot longer. Yeah. In other words, he's fucking old. <laughs> well, not as old as yeah, you, though. There's a lot of... I know. He's he's the the youngest, way you're, no, than you're the youngest. Then you. I'm a buddy. Then me, then you. Buddy. Don't point at me, man. I point at Don't you. Point point at me, noble. Don't point at me, bro. <laughs> I, I love to see my old I, bicycle idols like still doing it. Like Eddie Fiola, still riding, sixty years old. Mm-hmm. Martin Aprio, sixty-one, still riding. He's he's better than he was back in the day. That's unbelievable. He rides every day. Somehow, really? somehow, yeah. I maybe it was uh, Facebook today or somewhere. I got a I got a Tony Alva thing. Sixty-seven yes. Tony Alva. Shit. Yes, wow. you know skateboarding, but yeah. still similar in that you can still oh, break man. your shit all up oh, when you're an old man. Yeah. But, you know, I guess you've been doing it so long. I watched some of your tricks. It's obviously you've done those thousands of times. I've, or I've changed my style. I've yeah. changed my style. So it's not so. I love yeah. watching So it's not videos. so break your bonus. It's, it's a little. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's retired. Yeah. You're not riding wood piles. And, I call them my retirement tricks. That's I like them. I enjoy I like watching your idea. posts. I'm, I'm like, I definitely, as soon as I see one, I'm like, got to watch this. I like that slide going backwards thing. Yep. That's pretty cool. I like those too. No, no, it just looks cool. I'll do those for the rest of my life. It's you had a you had a video overlay or um, audio overlay. I can't remember what it was, but I was like, oh God. It's even better with this music. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is so good. Yeah. Where, yeah. where do you get your tunes from? Do you get them from Udio? 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 No. Udio? No. What the hell was Udio? <laughs> it's, the, hey, it's, sh- it's the AI music generator. No, no, no. No. Skynet, <laughs> Skynet. So, do you find, is the music you find something somebody would know and you just use it and it doesn't get flagged? Or is it stuff that's like, oh, this sounds cool, I'm going to put it in there? So I do all my videos with my iPad mostly. Okay. And there's the iMovie or whatever thing on there. Oh, gotcha. So I film it, you know, the separate clips with the iPad. Sure, sure. And then there, the iMovie. It just puts them all together, and then oh, they've got the magic, magic can, movie. 
oh man you can do great stuff with that thing i yeah i actually for our for our very awesome video part of the show yeah, if i yeah. if i turned it on if i didn't you know what I don't know. We'll, we'll turn it <laughs> I on i don't next. see a red button We're, yeah a red they, light that whatever. thing needs a red light on top of it i think i'm gonna fix that <laughs> but the, I actually, well the new cameras do have a red light so you would know <laughs> i just still don't understand how red means well, go I, actually i do know how it was always outside the room like when you're in right, radio quiet. it was outside the room which red meant stop don't come in here. We're doing something important. And to me, you know, always green, always meant go. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm learning after 260 shows, you'd think I'd figure it out by now, wouldn't you? Didn't last week. <laughs> hey, oh, after multiple times, you sure you got that button? <laughs> Silence you. You can be replaced. <laughs> with AI. Next week. <laughs> can it be next week? Bro, AI, bro, with you Tony? Audio. Oh, it's AI Tony this week. <laughs> AI Tony's not that's, as funny that's as not the real a threat. Tony. Just so you know, that's not even remotely a threat. <laughs> I just figure you keep coming because you like doing it. Otherwise, you could just stay home and have and more fun, having beer next door and stuff. So. Right? Yeah. Other, <laughs> otherwise, why are we all here? All right. Actually, right. pretty much. Uh, hey, here's something interesting. You, you guys remember my buddy Gunner from Decora? Yeah, Decora. Decora, still one of the fastest guys at like 60 or whatever he is. He's pretty close to my age. And, uh, Faster than that chewy guy. Probably oh, <laughs> <laughs> probably one of the three fastest guys in that area of Iowa. And uh, he Iowa. <laughs> and I think Chewy had this bike, and I know Jeff O'Gara had it. Jeff O'Gara is the wrestling coach still after I don't know how many years at Luther College. Um, he's a pussy. Or, <laughs> Please yeah. don't listen to this, Jeff. Please don't listen yeah, to this. He's smaller you will than you. kill me. He's smaller than you. I've He'll watched him take ass. someone down. <laughs> I've watched, and it's frighteningly strong. So, <laughs> sorry. Way sorry. back in the olden times, he bought a very special Schlick Teasdale built. Oh, what's going on over oh. there? Blue bitty bloop. Important. Um, he oh. built a very specially designed <laughs> Schlick because he wanted a fat bike, but something that was light, small, single speed. And didn't have to have the full-on five-inch tire, so it was it was super custom made. And he rode it for several years, and he ended up at one point breaking it because he's a beast. <laughs> so sometime towards the very very end of Tom Teasdale's frame building career, he had another one built, and it was number eight hundred and thirty-five, which we think <clears throat> is the very last Teasdale. It's a you know it's got Schlick livery Before on it, passed. but it's a Teasdale. So he did pass that year on Ragbri, and for some reason, the crank that uh, O'Gara wanted to use on it, it wouldn't quite clear the chain stay, so he wanted to send it back to Tom and have him dimple it, but Tom was not around anymore, so he just kind of took the banging on it with a hammer and made enough clearance, which it worked fine. It really does? Yeah, and that <laughs> and he rode it for years before he decided carbon was more his speed because he wants a 17-pound fat bike or something. <laughs> Because he is the fastest guy Weenie. in Decora. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Yeah, right. And then, uh, so Chewy had it for a while and used it to pull the trailer for all those uh, those Rochester events where we did the Santa Rampage up there. He was pulling the trailer, the long trailer with all the, the gifts and stuff in it that we collect for um, Toys, Toys for, for Tots. Toys for Tots, yep. And then it sat in his garage for a couple of years, and now Gunner has it. And it couldn't have gone to a better guy, so... It's got quite the history, this number 835. Hmm. It's not maybe quite as historical as some of those BMX bikes at the Buckeye BMX uh, ride out, but uh, it's got cred. I just thought it was really cool because he just sent it this morning. I'm like, oh, this is going to make something good for the show. Yeah, uh-huh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. um, what, how many bikes do you have, Brad? Yeah, probably about five or six completes. And they're all 20-inch BMX. All 20-inch BMX. I have 124. I was going to say, you have oh, 124. One, one cruiser. Yep. I wish I what is that, GT? Still... No, it's it's actually, it's a Stranger Things bike. Oh. But it looks like an old school Schwinn from like mm-hmm. the late 70s. Was it made as a, a racing bike? It was just made as a, you right, know, as like right around the neighborhood Stranger bike. Things, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I put cool parts on it, you know. It's, uh, it's steel, <laughs> it's a steel frame. So I really shouldn't be jumping it, but I do jump it a little Steel bit. Steel frames are made for jumping. Yeah, not for a 200-pound dude. Yeah, st- yeah. The, the ones that we built, the three BMX bikes that we built, you, I don't think anybody could ever kill them. The frame weighed like nine pounds. Right. <laughs> it was a, like a ramp bike, but 24-inch. Yeah. No, yeah. I, really <laughs> I really need to not jump this bike because it's going to break. Yeah, well, yeah. 
So what are your <laughs> all your other bikes are steel, aren't they? Ah, chrome Ollie. Chrome. 4130 chrome. There you that's, go. That, that's all you make you bikes go. out of these days, folks. You don't need no carpet fiber nope. or new fagnold aluminum mm -hmm. or uh, whatever you're 3D printing in your basement these days. Which, by the way, Tony Burger, Burger Tony. I went down to uh, Andrew's basement to see his 3D printed RC plane. Yeah. I, I was like, this thing is surprisingly heavy. Do you know when we make RC planes, what we do is try and make it as light as possible. I'm curious about it, though, because I've seen all these, you know, 3D printed uh, bottom brackets, sintered metal, titanium, you know, chain stays. It's like a thing that has, and you put your tubes on it, and it's 3D printed. I'm like, wow. That's new technology, folks, right? There. Right. Well, it's Heavy that, new technology. I guess it's not that new anymore. They make fighter airplane parts out of it. It can't be that new, but <clears throat> that's what I'm Can saying. Can you print carbon fiber? Uh, Probably, but I just don't. I don't yeah, know enough about 3D about, printing. I don't know about carpet fiber. You can print metal. I know that. Right. And Andrew explained and to concrete. me how it's different. It's not additive like it is now. It uses lasers and stuff. <clears throat> it's really cool. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> that's not old school, though. That's new school. Yeah. Yeah. Not middle school, fifth grade, like junior high. Mm -mm. So at one, <laughs> at one time in the mid-90s, my freestyle bike weighed 50 pounds. So I am not a light guy. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Like my bike is pretty light now, but how? How did you get you a fifty-pound freestyle bike? That's why I was so muscular back then. Well, I know you were huge when I first <laughs> met you. I wasn't huge; I was just strong, man. So what? What? I'm going to throw this little side note in. I met Brad at Art Bar. We were hanging out. I don't know when the whole, how long we hung out, etc. But I had to go home and. Brad had a fixed gear bike, oh. and I had never ridden a fixed gear bike in my life. So I'm like, like a 20 inch fixed gear? No, he had uh, a, it was a 700C no, 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 fixed gear. gear. Oh, okay. And I'm like, hey, can I take your bike home? And he's like, yeah, sure. Now, mind you, I was living in the 3,000 block of Booth. This is two blocks, <laughs> and somehow between riding home and coming back, I had to give Brad a bike with a flat tire. I'm like, oh, I, I don't know what happened, dude, but the tire's flat. Story, oh, don't you at all? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, dude. It was your, that's it was your fixie, and I'm yeah, like, I don't know what happened. Oh, you have a flat tire, so. You Were you doing, tire. like, Jesus skids all I the way was doing, home? No, or? I don't know the first thing about I was, like, trying to live. <laughs> you well, tried, like, tried to go up the curb. I didn't try to do anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, like, the, the it was first the rear tire that flatted. Was that the Kona Paddy wagon? Yeah, it was your chrome pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popping tubes. 2005. Popping yeah. tubes. Yeah. So it was about Cleon. Was it 2005? Yeah, that was a 2005. So it meant Cleon I, was. I oh, yeah, it, she was a year I old. I bought it like um, way at the beginning of 2005. So Cleon was it, born in 2005. So. so, yep. I love that bike. Dude. That was a cool bike. I did 40 miles an hour on that thing. Wow, that was. Flat, on flat ground. That wasn't going uphill. <sighs> no. Speaking of going uphill, where's that thing? Just so we can just so we can talk about you know top of the hill strong guys on fixies is what we're saying. Mm. Probably living with probably Singles living with Trusty back then. Huh? Man, my, no, <laughs> way before <laughs> that man's a beast. All right, so today we have two beers just because there's only that many of uh, four of a kinds in the fridge. There's a lot of doubles. There's a lot of twos in there. Don't you have a whole bunch of? Didn't you buy a twelve pack of of? Yeah, we drank most of it last week. Do we really? It's in the thing, though, so we can get to it. Pseudo Sue, Top okay. Lingle. Thank you. Thank By you. the way, if you guys want to ride up a really big hill, go from downtown Decorah up to Top Goliath. It's like two miles and 500 vertical feet. No, thanks. <clears throat> it's like like this. Yeah, you're going. Do that on your fixed gear, yeah. <laughs> And that's what those well, guys... I get to push the button. Oh, by the way, all the fast guys in Decora that go up and down, up Fixtures. and down, up and down, up and down, they're not fixed gears, but they are single speeds. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know of, why? Get a lot of speed going into that. Very silly well, they, people. They, they just haven't evolved. Well, that's, the, yeah, you don't get a, if you don't have a thumb, how are you supposed to shift a bike? Right. That's my thing right. there. So the other Turtles. one is, the other one, Tony brought the Space Whistle, which is, uh, it's, Rest in peace it's a mosaic company. IPA. The thing, mm -hmm. the thing about this is you can't get it anymore, so. All right. Blow the whistle. But maybe, well, I can't at home. Maybe maybe somebody, one six pack left. Maybe somebody will pick up the recipes from company or something. I hope somebody does something. I'm okay. I'm really jaded about River West right now. Yeah, you're jaded um, about Apple. You're jaded about Dell. No, but I mean, this is my home. <laughs> this is my neighborhood for 30 years. And I am just getting so tired of just someone posted a 
apartment for $1,350 a month, and it's not a nice apartment. I'm like... That's uh, a cash grab while you can get it. Like, how many you, how many bedrooms? Is two. That? Yeah. See, if two you bedroom, had, one bath. If I'm sorry, had, that's not <laughs> like not thirteen, twelve fifty. I think Dude, it was. That's but the going all right utilities. Now. That's, that's the insane. Going right. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. But if you had grass on your yard, you'd be like, "Get off my grass, you kids." Yeah, I am at that stage. But the <laughs> the fact of the matter is, it should not. Have you? I mean, have you been over at Tony's house yet? The new, the I have the new not. Crib? I have not. You got to check it out the because there's a really cool it. feature of it which needs to be exploited in that you could have awesome <clears throat> under porch bike parking, like Ooh. the whole on the front, front of the house. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty high. Probably. Yeah, you could just put like maybe <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. You could put a lot of bikes in there. It'd be really cool. And all those animals that live under there could find new homes. Then <laughs> you're you're over by River West Arby's then or what? Yeah, I'm three doors down from Mad Planet. Oh, okay. Right on. Three doors down. Three doors down. And I have a... <laughs> oh, yeah. His thanks. favorite band. Oh, yeah, Maroon 5's coming to Summerfest, a, just in case you want to go see that, too. <laughs> and I have a lot and a half, so I have a nice side lot to park by, oh, okay. which is what okay. I do. You know what they have a complete lack of at Summerfest, besides a lot of stuff, is any, anything punk rock oriented. Morals, right. No punk rock at Summerfest this year, really. It's that pretty I can lame. Think of. Yeah. Leon went and saw SZA. And is now trying to get her money back because they flashed up a sign to evacuate now. What? Yeah, it was oh, so that was the day of the Saturday uh, night of, of the big uh, light. So okay, so my daughter is a stage manager at Miller. Seven times, different people were calling and saying "shut it down," and there's only one person that's supposed to be saying "shut it down." Why would but, you say that? Because there was lightning, and if oh, lightning is within yeah, nine yeah. miles of Summerfest, they have to shut it down. Ooh, okay. Rain? No, nobody cares about rain. You're going to play in the rain unless it's falling on your board or something, but lightning is a big deal. So <laughs> Makes um, sense. You can but, die. But there's like, shut it down. Five minutes later, bring it back up. <laughs> shut That's it down. That's exactly what Cleon La- felt. Land the PA. Pull the PA back up. It's just like... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on down there at the summer. I'm, I'm more shocked that she spent ninety dollars for grass seats because that was both of our really mm-hmm. nice seats for they might be giants, which you went to how many days? <laughs> Two days in a row. So that flood shirt was the most popular, the green one. Oh yeah, everyone had a flood shirt on, mm-hmm. and they played how many songs from the album? Uh, well, they the first night was flood, and I'm drawing a mental blank, but thirty one songs the first night. <laughs> That seems like a lot. Was it was Jesus freaking great. Christ. I don't know. I, 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 think, I may wow. or may not have been on the will call list for that. I never got reconfirmation. It was. Of it. It but was, I had to go see Jesus Jones because <laughs> I had to see in, Jesus in, Jones in the, in the beer thing. In the Jesus video. Jones in the I, I modern do. English and the unbelievable. No. Oh, now had I not <laughs> been way too excited to see they might be giants, I would have definitely been to that show. <laughs> well, you didn't even poach that show. You actually I, somehow did you pay entry or get a? I bought twelve packs of terrapin for. Oh, you got over, free tickets by yeah. buying beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hey, twelve packs. Okay, boom. That's there is a ticket. Smart. I take Thank that you. back. There is one good thing it's about Summerfest, and it is buy beer and get a ticket. That's and the uh, old radio person now is a person that works at Summerfest, so she got us pit passes nice. for the U.S. Cellular stage, yeah, uh, which got I, you a little closer. It didn't so get you, you a bathroom. were it didn't unbelievable. Get you a bathroom. It didn't it get did, you a bathroom or free oh, beer. I'm not a big fan of the pit because- I'm just getting closer, and I don't just, need to be that damn it's close. It's just like you got to know somebody, or you got to pay something to get in there, and it's like, just let the people <laughs> Or you got to get lucky front. with WMSC and get- pit passes yeah, for Slater but, they, but every stage Ooh. has it now you know but that's like, you lying and if i i could just poach that from the outside well, have my own but, beer but i don't have to i get to be right i there. can smoke my own beer i thought uh, I can cost me zero. my own beer i thought slater I can use that briggs well, according, according to according to the schedule it's at briggs but according to your ticket well we're going to find out in a little while when we go to the wmc benefit and ryan gives me the tickets oh there you go Yes, Guitar Smasher. <laughs> this is the. Is, is, are there four a, of these a year? It's yep. a wristband. Uh, we we get Tony and I. <clears throat> what? Yeah, throw <laughs> five hundred bucks at me, and I'll give them. A, <laughs> <laughs> I drink. I get, I get, and win free five hundred dollars worth of drinks and free tickets yeah, a year. But you guys listen a lot more often. Than, although I, I do, do, I listen all the so time. So I put my antenna up in the ceiling and actually if you look at 91.7 it's right it's coming now in. on it's the thing in. look at how many bars there are there's five Ooh. bars 
I still have to listen to it in mono, though. Otherwise, it gets a lot of multi-path. I don't know if anybody's an FM antenna junkie out there, but I sure would like to get something that doesn't do that, and we could get their beautiful signal in stereo. But it's only a 3,300-watt station. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a 50,000-watt mm. mega station. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when Mike worked at... Uh, New Rock, <laughs> 1021. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But it was Nostalgia Friday. It was old promotions guy, myself, the old salesperson, and yeah. All right, we need Brad's opinion on pseudo sue versus uh, space, space whistle. whistle. Have you ever had this pseudo space whistle? No. It is every time it, they it say out space Decora, space whistle. Can I, I say Decora? How many times can I say Decora on the show? Decora, Decora, Decora. Decora. Say Udon or Udon noodles. A lot, a lot or of times. I don't, I don't know, know anything about noodles. What are you talking about? What was it? Mm. Udio? Mm. I don't noodles know. Udio? You're making words up over there. I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, here's another thing, just so you know. Like, uh, day after tomorrow is Today. the start of the... Internet time or no? It's the 29th. Is the start of the Tour de France. Mm. Ooh. Ah, ooh la la. I tried to figure out how to somehow watch it for freeze, and you cannot do that. There is not even a trial version of Peacock, which is yeah. what it's going to be on. I, I wow. Think, I think you can do a year for 20 bucks or something. Oh, I have yeah, Peacock, I heard so I about that. that. I just I don't have the code yet. I need the code. Somebody leave the code in the uh, comments for the video or the uh, show notes or whatever, right. or whatever so that we can sign up because it is interesting to watch. I'm not like a super <clears throat> Euro fan or anything, but it gets the first stage this year is going to be one of the hardest stages ever on the tour, I believe. It's 206 kilometers, which would be 120 miles plus okay. on the very first day. Thank you very much. And that's crazy. you have to factor into that that a lot of it is cobblestone. Have you ever ridden your bike on cobblestone, let alone riding your bike on cobblestone at 20 plus miles an hour? Not fun. Yeah, I, and these guys are slightly these guys skinny, and ladies. That's how yeah. you get the flats. Right. Like you were and talking, we're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, you're talking, you know, 20 road one, tires, yeah. 19. All right. uh, so that is something I'm curious about on the bikes this year. I don't know how much cobbles are actually on the whole Road. Oh, oh, there but are. But like Perry Roubaix is a lot of cobbles. There's very good sections, and it's very famous. And Rock Shock even made a fork for road bikes way back in the day that I think even Greg LeMond rode. I'm not positive. But they to deal with the cobbles. But they're still riding like 25s or 28s on their 700C. I think they're getting like 28s and 32s now because right. people are starting oh, yeah. to realize that a little lower pressures, a lot more comfortable, and a lot less fatiguing. <laughs> tubeless. And, well, and less and, that. yeah, they work. They run them tubeless. Yeah, Dude. because then you don't pop your tube. Right. Yeah. On your yeah, hmm. I just uh, I'm curious how how bike technology because that that's supposed to trickle down to us, it's, but nothing ever on a Tour de France bike tours trickles down to me. It, it's almost like they're doing Tour de France on gravel bikes. I think it's virtual. Uh, it's actually they're all just sitting in there with with the virtual goggles yeah, on. Like, yeah, they're on like their Zwift bike or their Peloton, and we're all just getting like the AI generated version of. That's what they do in the off time at the that's Sphere coming. in Vegas. You know it's coming. <laughs> oh, what, the next time some guy does a quadruple flip or a quintuple, I'm pretty sure that's going to be an AI generated. Right, <laughs> that was me. Yeah, I, I, did don't know. I did that. So uh, here's a, a final. Well, it's not a parting thought, but it's a question for Brad because. In the old days, uh, tricks were sort of simple in both skateboarding and in BMX. You you did a jump, mm. you know. Yeah, no, well, I don't know. Maybe you didn't come up as early as I did, but basically, you're jumping milk crates and oh, like trying I, to be evil Knievel is the first thing you're trying to do is jump. As, I was jumping my bike in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, jumping as far yeah. as you can yeah. over over girlfriends and and banana well, seat bike. Yeah, yeah, right on. Okay. Nice. So, I have so, a banana right? seat in my basement. And then, you know, then people I don't I don't know when, you know, ramps, that was the first thing. I think pools were next, right? Or anything with a ra- not a pool, but a <laughs> but an inclined thing that you could ride up and down maybe. Right. Yeah. Quarter, so, quarter so, pipes always were like the first intro. Yeah. When every like friends of mine would go to skateboarding and I'm like, "No, stay with the bike. I'm good at that. I yeah. suck at the skate." Well, we had okay, so Northern Lights down on Water Street had a really cool like curvy thing. It was about 6 feet high, mm-hmm. but it was not only it was. It went up to their loading docks. They had to go there when, like, on the weekend when nobody was there. Yeah, yeah. But not only did it curve real <clears throat> nicely to vertical, but it also curved this way too, like forty five degrees. Complex. Yeah, it was complex curve. You know how I know about that? Uh, 
college and stuff. Bringing it back. <laughs> DiNardo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's over the party by the way can you say denardo again i don't say want to say decor. denardo again that's bad news if we say it three times he's gonna fucking show yeah, up right just that hey. so my whole point here was about you know how tricks evolve and yeah. how do you think we've like reached a point where to jump to the next level what's going to happen in freestyle or you know i mean well, a, a, a vert, like a ramp, what are you going to do? Another twist, another McFlip, another whatever. I was a skater and a BMX. Okay, I right did on. both. Yeah. I grew up doing both, man. Multi-talented. Yeah. Well, and DJing, too. Yeah, that's a, that's a trifecta. That's a trifecta right we there. We should not be here with this man. He's just <laughs> way too cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, the new stuff is cool. I love it. I, it it's amazing. I'm blown away by it. But you know what? I would rather watch somebody from the old school do something stylish, you know? Gotcha. It's got that much more appeal to me. I don't know. Yeah, it's so... When Not you, to take anything away no, from no, those I, dudes. I, it's, it's, like, it's like watching... Air they're awesome, the, oh, man. Hey, oh, hey, and we just grab that and just... It's amazing. It once it's and amazing. then land on it somehow. Skateboarding and BMX. Yeah. Yeah. It's and amazing. What about it's the amazing. Rotten Tomato and that uh, snowboarding thing? <clears throat> Yeah, snowboarding. I was a snowboarder too, actually. For a while. <laughs> no, I'm dragons. just. But yeah. I am thinking. I like. He's I, the flying tomato, not the rotten tomato. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. You talking about Sean? I'm sorry. <laughs> All I'm saying here is that I I think uh, really Brad beer. brought up a good point. Is that sometimes that stuff happens so fast that seeing style, unless you're like so into it that you're like, oh, he just flicked his finger at you while he was doing whatever he did, or he's. You know, f- yeah. looking at his thing, you know, whatever. Did a so, bump mid air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it oh, is, yeah. That it is kind of cool how Where that, you at, Mike? that old school style in both has come back. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate that yeah, a lot. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I think it, it because it, it's more evident what's happening when it's stylish versus just doing as many flips or twists or doing whatever as you can. Five tail whips in a row. Yeah. Can you do, yeah. Like, why? Right. Do one and make it look it's a video fucking game. badass. It's a video game, right? <laughs> right. Skate or, or die. Or die. Yeah. yeah, you gotta look out for those bees. I remember that game. I say that. What's, what was the Tony Hawk? Uh, boom, boom, Hawk Jam. Hundred. Beep, 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 pop, boop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was way too old for that by then. Boom, boom, Hawk Jam? Did I not. Said, did you not. Were, oh. You were playing Paperboy, weren't you? I love Paperboy. Yeah. Oh, it's such a good game. <laughs> Dude, it's hard, I love man. that game. That game's hard, man. That and yeah. Spy Hunter. Two of the most fun video games ever. Well, the soundtrack is Spy Hunter. Is oh, you mean come on? Do 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 do. Love the Peter Gunn theme. I'm a Pep Man guy. I play clarinet and Pep Man. You always played Peter Gunn theme. I mean, that was just a given. Right. Come on. Any come time, on, time out. Bust into on, you know, bust into Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't think we missed a lot. We talked to Brad a lot. We talked to Tony some, talked to Mike and whatever, whatever. Uh, Bikes, Boat, and Goats has been postponed because Silver Lake is full of campers. Okay. This is Muskegon. So which is actually North a Muskegon, good right? thing. Uh, it's north of Muskegon. Yeah, okay. It's actually, yeah, Silver Lake Park. But it was the Bikes, Boats, and Goat thing, which I still think is a good idea. Later in the summer, I think, is a better time. Speaking of that. Other than that. It's that, really, I saw uh, Dave Lund's post, Dave fucking Lund. Dot com. <laughs> that he was in Chicago seeing the Pixies, and it was like the second time he's seen the Pixies. I'm like, dude, I've seen the Pixies like a dozen times. I've seen it once. Oh, yeah, I, I think I'm on the one Pixies. or two times or mm-hmm. three. Aaron Frisch. Did you, get, did you pull the CD out from under I loved the, it. Uh, the it was seat? great. They're a great oh, that one, yeah, I still have that burn. I am a huge copy, Pixies man. fan. I am now. Though. 2003. Well, the Pixies rule. I just didn't oh, I know. never I, really see them that I never often. realized that until I saw them live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, and I was just like, dude, well, I know all these songs. Man. And what? it's probably been said in this podcast, but I also was at Pork Shank Hall when... What? Pork Shank Hall, you know. Pork Shank Hall. Yeah. Everyone, Right? You know Park Shank Hall. Oh, yeah. I ran into and, some people at the Turf Benefit. And One person right? in particular who has a complete... I mean, I do not have any kind words for Mr. Jess. Whatsoever. Oh, no, I don't either. But all the same. I <laughs> normally just keep them on the shelf and until somebody picks so, the scab off. And, but this guy was... Frank, Frank Black. Black Francis? W- uh, yeah, was on stage 
after <laughs> Black 47 opened, I'm, which was I in white like Frank great. Black is. Black. And he literally looked at the crowd hey, and he's like, "That's two today, two Bloodhound Gang references yeah, right? in one yeah. show." Yeah. Um, <laughs> Frank Black turned around the crowd. He said, "I know I said I would never do this, but I'm going to do it." And he busted into, "Here comes your man." Yeah. And it was literally like the first time he had played a Pixie song since they broke up. And our friend Leslie and Molly and I looked at each other and we're like, I can't believe we're part of this. It was one of those situations where you're like, this is, and that was way before Loud, Quiet, Loud, the documentary, way yeah. before they went on tour again. Um, I mean, it was just like, holy shit, this is so cool. doing over there with that of. wristy going on over there. <laughs> He's sweltering. Yeah. I know. We've I saw, already, you know, we've already. I saw the Breeders back in the day. I did oh, too many yeah. times. Well, awesome. Also, one of my more favorite bands. Yeah, the it's Deal really Sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dig well, on the Deals. We've they're, already. They're cute too. We've already spent Those way are, more time with Brad than you know. <clears throat> we we got to have Brad back because I'm pretty sure we haven't even scratched the surface yet. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pick the scab a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of picking scabs, how's yeah. your crashy doing? Oh, I've got a crashy over there. Got that. a road rash. I picked all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> I got some road rash. He's got some road rash. We'll live. I'm not crashing this week. That's I'm a BMXer, that's, that's, man. I pick scabs. That's dude. my new motto. I'm not crashing this week. <laughs> I don't have any active that's like ones. Asking to crash. <laughs> I know. Right? I haven't had. And there's a latent one that. Uh, and I have had crash, and it's time, pretty man. fun. I do have some pedal strikes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I got pedal strikes. Stop <laughs> picking my scab. <laughs> Actually, right. I don't have any pedal scabs right now. That's crazy. Are, do you wear shin guards? Hell Like no. some pansy? No. <laughs> I, I did back in the 90s well, with my 50-pound bike, you know. Oh, yeah. Dude. Pops still wears shin guards. Do you know, do you know Poppy? No, I don't think well, so. We'll have Poppy and B-Rad on the same show. How do you get a, oh, oh, yeah. oh, you get a BMX yeah. bike oh, yeah. to 50 pounds? Went to high school with him. <laughs> oh, nice. He's a rad guy. Vito. Yeah, he's Vito, awesome. Vito, yeah. He's awesome. I saw him at the turf event. That was, like, I met he, him a couple of years ago, actually. Yeah, he's yep. cool shit. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. All right, we everybody. We keep going on forever here. I know. We're going to do this next week, though. So, uh, don't, be rad. Come don't, on don't back. Don't think you've heard everything we have to talk about. Thank you very much. And come again. Come again. Please pay for your groceries and come again. <laughs>